Hey guys, welcome to the July 2020 unboxing of the Keto Crate. I am so excited. It feels like forever since I have unboxed a Keto Crate. Like I know it was just June a month ago, but for some reason it feels like I haven't done this in a very long time. So I am very excited. If you are excited and want your own Keto Crate, you can get $10 off your very first Keto Crate by using the link in the description box below. Also be sure to stick around because at the end, I'm going to let you know how to win your very own July 2020 Keto Crate. Okay, enough talking, more unboxing, let's get to it. Always with the literature, I am always here for it. To be honest, I rarely read it, but I always recycle, so at least I'm doing my part there. Okay, let's see. First thing I see here, it looks so very well organized. The first thing I see here is DNX grass-fed beef. This is the uncured bacon and sea salt and cracked pepper bar. Like, uh, that looks delicious. Once again, I hate meat sticks. I don't really mind meat bars though. Like for some reason, if it's tough and chewy like this, I don't really mind it. Serving size is one bar, 10 grams of fat, one carb, one fiber. So that's zero net carbs, 11 grams of protein. I am here for this grass fed beef, uncured bacon, no nitrates or nitrites added, except for those naturally occurring, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, I see jalapeno chili peppers in there. So that's gonna be good. We will be trying this on Smash the Crate. I'm excited. All right, next we have Proudly Pure Parmesan Crisps. Okay, looks like another cheese crisp, maybe like a Cello Wisp or a Bunker Hill competitor, but like, you ain't never gonna see me sad about Parmesan cheese crisps. Two servings per container. I'm eating it all. Oh, uh, let me see. For four crisps. Oh, so these must be like large. Okay, I get it. Oh, that'll be fun to see. Uh, serving size is four crisps, 110 calories, seven total fat, one gram of carb, and nine grams of protein. Like, yeah, if they are actually this large and have made it <laughs> shipped intact, I will be very excited about that. Next, we have a dang bar. Dang, I can't believe they're still putting dang bars in the keto crate. Yeah, like, I mean, Apparently Dang Bar has changed up their like texture. They were like, we've heard you, we've listened, our Dang Bars are less crumbly and whatnot. And I'm like, that was literally my problem with Dang Bar. So if this is the new formula, then that'll be great. I bet it's not, but still, I am looking forward to trying some Dang Bars with the new formula. This is toasted coconut, which I will probably like, even though it is crumbly. Uh, it says, dang, that's good. I know, right? Like, I know that's what y'all think. One bar is 210 calories, 11 total carbs, six fiber. So that's five net carbs. Mm, okay, nine grams of protein. I don't think a dang bar is worth five net carbs, but like if you really like dang bars, you know, like I'll eat other bars, maybe Quest bars and stuff like that worth five net carbs. So if you like dang bars, this could be a good look for you. But either way, we gonna try it. Dang, I can't believe they put another dang bar in the keto crate. Oh my gosh, uh, these Keto Farms Maple Candy Pecans. If you remember the unboxing video that I just made last week with all of the KetoCon stuff in it, these are in here and I am not sad to now have two bags of these. I have never seen these before, but I am so excited. I love candy pecans. And the fact that someone has done all the work for me so that I can just enjoy them. Like that makes me so excited. Serving size is one package. There are 190 calories, 20 grams of fat, 12 total carbs, three fiber and eight erythritol, meaning there's only one gram of net carbs in here. Yes, everything about this, yes. Let's see, the ingredients are pecans, natural sweetener, erythritol, monk fruit extract. I mean, and then maple flavor. Like I am here for all of this. I cannot wait to try these. Okay, now we have better than good snacks, veggie infused protein grab and go puffs. Wow, that's a mouthful. I'm not sure if I've ever had better than good snacks, but I'm assuming these are going to be like shrewd food. These are ranch flavored. That's going to be interesting. I'm interested to see what the ingredients are because the last set of protein puffs that we received in the keto crate, I was not here for the ingredients. Serving size one per container. So that's good. We have three and a half grams of fat, three total carbs, two sugars, and 16 grams of protein. Let's see the ingredients are milk protein isolate seasoning. 
which has buttermilk powder, tomato powder, salt, onion powder, spice. Okay, these aren't bad. There's definitely some vegetable blends, so like spinach, broccoli, carrot, beet, tomato, mushroom, apple, cranberry. So, but that's like very far down on the list. Overall, this thing is three net carbs, so hopefully we like it. Go Ultima. You guys can go on somewhere. No, I'm just kidding. I'm being a hater. You guys, this is an electrolyte drink mix. We all know that I am like Zip Fizz branded, so I don't really purchase Go Ultima a lot, but they, I will say hands down, have better, cleaner ingredients. So I know that some people don't like Zip Fizz because of the ingredients, maybe what it does to their stomach and things like that. So if you're looking for electrolytes in like fruity drink mix packets, Ultima is the item for you, okay? But I love Zip Fizz. Yeah, I think they just use Stevia or something like super clean, more power to them. I just happen to have my favorite already. I don't see the nutritional information on here. It's gonna be zeros all the way down the board. Whereas like Zip Fizz has maybe like two to three carbs in it. So like go Ultima, like I'm here for it. And we're definitely gonna try one flavor on Smash the Crate, but it's not my favorite. What is this? Keto friendly, oh, Sweet Logic. Okay, so if you guys don't know, what's the name of that company? Mm. Okay, Primal Noms. They rebranded and changed their company name to Sweet Logic, and not only did they change their name, they changed their little branding and packaging too. This is fancy. This is Red Velvet Mud Cake, and this looks plain delicious. I cannot wait to try this. Ooh, this is exciting. I'm gonna enjoy this month's Smash the Crate. For one pouch, there's 200 calories, 15 grams of fat, 34 carbs, but that's because a lot of this is allulose. Yeah, 24 grams is allulose, six is fiber, so you're left with four net carbs and eight grams of protein. So to this, you add two tablespoons plus one teaspoon of water, and you microwave for 60 seconds. Oh, you don't have to add any fat or anything like that? Oh, this is about to be lit. I am very excited about this. Okay, next we have a Yobo Traditional Biltong. Once again, probably a meat product that I'm going to try. I'm not sure how I feel about there being two meat products in here, but I guess one is like a meat stick jerky, the other is Biltong. And it looks to be just like a whole bunch of little pieces. Yeah, this looks manageable. For one package, there's 90 calories, two and a half grams of fat, zero carbs, zero sugar. That's great. 16 grams of protein, grass-fed beef, vinegar, salt, coriander, Worcestershire powder, pepper, rosemary. I mean, just very simple, but it also looks kind of tasty. Okay, next we have, oh, Keto and Coke. Banana Caramel Keto Muffin Mix. That sounds like an interesting flavor. So looks like I'm gonna have to do some more work for Smash the Crate, but that's okay. It says 1.8 grams net carbs a serving. Y'all know y'all could have rounded up, but that's okay. This is just Muffin Mix makes nine muffins made with one dose, a healthy alternative to sugar. I remember them. These were people that made like their own blend and they called it one dose. It's just a bunch of sweeteners. Yeah, one dose sugar replacer, which is the first ingredient, might I add, is erythritol, non-GMO, soluble corn fiber, inulin, monk fruit, and natural flavors. Like, no wonder us these things probably taste so good. It's because all those delicious fibers. Okay, so what we'll need, four large eggs, six tablespoons of melted butter, and a half teaspoon of cider vinegar? That's interesting. It does say you can substitute and use coconut oil. Okay, well... This is good, there's a lot of instructions on here which like, you know, kind of annoy me a little bit. I don't wanna have to think too hard when I'm just dumping something in a bowl and mixing it, you know? But hey, I'm gonna read through this and it's honestly all about the flavor. If it tastes good enough, it might be worth it. This is a flavor I definitely wouldn't have bought myself, so I'm glad to get it in the keto crate. All right, and then finally, we have keto bars. These are just classic. I actually ordered 12 keto bars off their website a couple of weeks ago because I got a coupon code from KetoCon. The coupon code was face tat because last year at KetoCon, if you put a temporary tattoo of keto bars on your face, you got a free box of keto bars. So I was like, yes, please. Easiest decision of my life. So I actually used the code face tat to get some keto bars, so like this is going, you know, this makes a baker's dozen, like this is 13, cause I got 12 upstairs in the cabinet right now. So this is the, I already know this is definitely a tier one. I love these things. 
Serving size is one bar, has 250 calories, 21 grams of fat, 13 total carbs, six fiber, and four erythritol. So that's three net carbs per bar, eight grams of protein. I love these things. The ingredients are so clean. Like they make you feel like you can make it yourself, but like it never turns out as good. Yeah, listen to these ingredients. Peanut butter, chocolate, coconut, non-GMO erythritol, water, salt, stevia. Like I, I have all those ingredients upstairs, but whatever I come up with, not gonna taste like a keto bar, I'll tell you that. So like, I'm also very excited to try this too, cause I already know that I love it. Overall, I am very pleased with all of the items in this month's keto crate. Tons of stuff I've just plain never seen before. Tons of stuff that I have seen before, but haven't had in a while. So it's like, you know what? I don't mind giving that a try again. Some reboots, some companies I've seen, but varieties that I haven't. Like this is the keto crate that I've come to know and love. You remember we talked about last month, the keto crate supply chain was interrupted due to the Rona. So like, it just felt like a random hodgepodge of like B team snacks. But this right here though, this is the A team. Like this is some good stuff and I am excited to try it all on Smash the Crate. Would you be excited to try this stuff? Go ahead and order your first Keto Crate now using the link below to get $10 off or wait, there's more. Comment down below, which of these products have you tried or would you be most excited to try? Let me know in the comments and I will be picking a winner from the comments to receive your very own July Keto Crate. Me and my mom will be announcing the winner on our Smash the Crate video. And I am very excited to smash this crate. Like I said, like there's just so many things in here I plain haven't had or that I haven't had in a while and would be interested in trying again. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Out on Keto. I make meal preps on Mondays, what I eat Wednesdays, and Freestyle Friday videos. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Out on Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next month.